In this video, we look for snakes in an area I've never been before. The Arkansas and Mississippi Delta. We find some cool stuff. I just pulled this Midland water snake off of this road right here. It's nice and windy. This thing has a jacked up face. It was heading down to that little creek canal. Anyway, that's a good sign to welcome us into the state of Arkansas. It's uh, it's fugly, but I'll take it. I'm gonna take a phone shot and let it back go. Poor monkey. Yeah, poor guy gets it for the ugliest water snake. All right, but he's living. Let me let him back go. Where you were going? You were going down there. I helped you. Go on, get across there. Get across there, you ugly little water snake. Well, we're in Kansas. We're in Arkansas. <laughs> well, we're in Arkansas. Don't know if we're gonna find anything here. I have no clue what I'm doing in this state. We're passing through and we're gonna see if we can flip, hike, or whatever we can do on our way back to Florida. Oh my goodness. Come here. Right here. What you got? We got a Texas rat snake. Nice looking one. You see it? Yeah. It is in shed. It's nice and warm out here, so I'm actually okay picking it up. Let's take a better look at it. All right, I'm gonna drop this. Okay. It's pretty calm, actually. Close to it. It's calm because he's cold. It was a cold night. A Texas rat snake, western rat snake. The ones on the channel you have seen have been more of a red variant from Louisiana. This one has, it's really dark and has some yellow on it. It's calm. It's not too bad. It is in shed. You can see by the, the eyes are a bit foggy. go and put him back underneath here. See you later, buddy. That's flippable. You just gotta walk down there. Don't fall off my camera. Come on. You ready? Yep. New strategy. Goodness, this is falling apart. They gave me a better place to grab it, though. I told you there was going to be something underneath it, Abby. It was just too perfect. There's literally nothing there. Come on, Arkansas, what gives? Dude. Someone dropping out a TV box. There's mice. There's a bunch of rodents. I'm gonna do it on this side. You can see the rodents. Damn. Looking shrimp. Oh, cute. Yeah. Nothing on this side. Anything? Nope, not seeing anything. Nope. Alright, we got carpet. Look at this way. Nothing. Wait, wait, there's a snake right there! Here. Oh my gosh! <laughs> That's a milk snake! Here, let me. <laughs> Look at this, he didn't even see it. Okay, this one looks like 
It's a lot prettier than the others. He's not in shed, and he has a more pronounced red color. Here, that is me. great. Let me get up close. Here, let me stretch him out a bit so you can see his colors. That's where the milk snake came from. I'm not gonna put him back in there. I'm gonna put him in here. There's plenty of habitat for him to go in there. The thing is, I'm concerned about some redneck coming down here and getting stuck and using the carpet to get unstuck. So I'm going to put him close to it, but in this brush. That way, there's plenty of habitat, it'll be okay. Ooh, there he goes. That's perfect. He knows where he's at. Rock pile is always good for snakes. And I've already heard a snake here. And then there's a snake shed right there. We're going to walk to it and see what it is. And I know there's a snake here because I already heard it. But apparently... Apparently it's in these rocks now. So let's see what that what that snake sh shed is. To me, it's a good place for water snakes and maybe a king snake. <laughs> Can't grab it, dang it. Pretty plain. You know what, that's probably what it is, a plain belly of some sort. Got it, got it, got it. Abby, come here, quick. So I got a nice speckled king snake here. I'm not letting it go. I'm just slowly holding it. So it can't back in anymore. A lot of times if this happens, they will eventually relax. And I might lose this guy. Just from the area that I'm in. But I'm thinking. We'll see what happens. He's in there pretty good. So I got a nice king snake right here. I unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to get him out. He's pretty stuck in there. I'm about to let him go. Just because he's tangled up. There ain't no way I'm gonna get him. But I want to show you his tail. Alright, there he goes. He's done for. Beautiful king snake. I wish I would have got him. Fortunately, that thing was just faster than me and got into the uh, the bottom of the rocks too quickly. No way to pull him out, just completely unsafe for the snake. Sometimes you can just kind of hold him steady and they're relaxed and as they relax you kind of pull them a little bit but it was too tangled up i would have hurt the snake so but at least you saw its tail beautiful snake that thing was easily three feet we're gonna keep on walking see if we can find another one big snake shed right there i'm guessing most of these are water snakes yeah that looks like a water snake to me okay so there's a broad banded water snake right there Oh, never to be seen again, but this was on camera. Drop. This habitat is just perfect for them just to get a little bit of sun, and then there's plenty of places for them to drop, like the king snake did. So, all right, so there's a snake right there. This one seems to be pretty placid looking. I'm guessing that is a plain belly water snake. Looks like a good sized one. Yeah, so it's right there. Let me see if I can get a tiny bit closer to it. Take a picture. These things have been very finicky lately. Oh yeah, it's just gonna... Is that a Mississippi green water snake? No, that can't be. It's an ugly snake. You know, if this is a green water snake, I'm gonna grab it. Because I need pictures of it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. <sighs> no, it's not. It's a big plain belly. Hold it. Okay. All right, so. It's not very happy with it's you. It's a plain belly water snake. It was hard to tell in the lighting if it was a Mississippi green or not. 
but it's not it's just a big ugly plain belly water and you know what thank you for staying there for a little bit so i can pick you up i'm gonna put you right back all right i'm gonna put him right back <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got to go. I got to find a toilet. Come look at this. Aww. Look at all these little baby mice. Would it bite me if I were to grab one? Perfect snake suit. Grab one. Oh, I want to pet it. Here, let me. <laughs> it could definitely bite you, by the way. Okay, that's fine. Definitely hurt if it bites you. Yeah, it's still cute, though. All right, well, go ahead and put the snake food back down there so a snake can get it later. Aww. But he's so cute. Yeah, well... Look how cute this thing is. He's my friend. And he's gone. Okay, don't think we're gonna see any more snakes today. We're gonna go drive down to the Mississippi River and see what that looks like. Maybe we'll see another snake. I don't know, I doubt it. Temps are in the mid 60s right now, so highly unlikely. But still, beautiful place. Let's check out the Mississippi. Well, on second thought, maybe we'll just go get something to eat and get a hotel. I don't think we're going to see it from this angle. Nope, nope, nope. It's too wet to go around it. It's already gone. Must have been a snake. Oh my gosh. No, it was a turtle. Can you say anything to the camera? Well, we just lost a really pretty um, garter snake. Maybe it was a big ribbon snake. I couldn't tell. I could see the sides of it, so I know it was one of the those. And then a turtle was just crossing the road, and you know what? Abby lost that too. How did I lose that? Kinda neat. Old building. So here's the deal. We've been in Mississippi the whole day and 
Well, we haven't had a snake in hand. We saw a snake go across the road, but couldn't get to it in time. Probably a garter snake or a ribbon snake. Couldn't quite tell. It was one of the two. So we are inside a national forest right now in the southern portions of the Mississippi Delta. And it's 78 degrees. It's going to cool off quick, but I think it's just warm enough. I don't want to leave until I, until I see a snake, a Mississippi snake, one from the Mississippi Delta. So we're going to drive. Let's road cruise. Act like you're happy to be here. A beaver! Oh my gosh, it's a beaver! Beaver! Oh my goodness, there it is. All right. All right, all right, all right. And it's a nice one too. It's one of those snakes I don't get to see. All right, I didn't want to pick him up, but when I went over to get a video of the top of him, he took off. So here's his belly. Look at that. What a pretty snake. In a very polite snake right now, it's not trying to bite me, although it, it did get me right there, but not too bad. But yeah, the snake is pretty chilled out. Let's let him go. There it goes. It's a different broad-banded water snake. I will take you across the road. At least we know they're moving. Don't freak out. You just came right out of the water, too. Yeah, you came out of the water, didn't you? Very good. I will, I will take you this side. Okay, bye-bye. I'm guessing I know what that is. That is a baby diamondback water snake. If it bites me, it's definitely a diamondback water snake. No, it doesn't, but that's still what it is. Yep, this is a very dark diamondback water snake. Huh. Okay, we'll let him go this way. Going this way. Good morning. We've already found a racer on this road, even though we just got on it. That's a good sign when you pull on a road and you already see a snake. That is a baby black mask racer, I'm guessing from last year. It's eating well. It's definitely feeding well. He still has some of his baby pattern to it starting to get that little bit of a black mass going on cool I don't get to see these much at all and I really don't have any good pictures of an older one but all right we're gonna let this guy go why are you going that way which way are you gonna go okay, so... <laughs> buddy get off the road get off the road you can get off the road <laughs> Get off the road. Go on. Okay. That's, that's pretty cute. I guess, that's adorable. I guess I'm going to help you. He doesn't know what he wants to do. I'm going to stand and fight. <laughs> My goodness. What's wrong with you? Get off the road, man. Ow. Ow. And there it goes. We're on the same road as we were last night. And uh, we're not going to be here for long because we got to go home. But we're going to go ahead and cruise the morning time and maybe we'll find a king snake or something cool like that. Because the morning temps are nice. Clouds are starting to build, which is good for king snake movement. I see a turtle crossing the road way up there. No way I'm going to get to it in time. Maybe I will. It looks like it might have stopped. Let me look at that. I don't think that's a turtle. 
Maybe I need to get my eyes checked because that was just a clump of earth. Anyway, let's hope we find something cool. Yep, there we go. That is a ribbon snake. posing nicely. He was posing nicely. Let him go. I'm going to put him off the edge and, and see where it's angle he goes in. There's some shadows in the way. Come on, buddy. Ah, it's a little broad banded. God. It's gorgeous looking. Fairly dark belly. But there it is. That's a nice belly. All right, let you back go. It's another broad banded. Yeah, it's a broad band. I'm leaving it alone. That's a big, rough green snake. Look at, look at that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's a good sized rough green snake. Ugh. Beautiful snake. Rough green snakes. I see them quite often, but you know what? They're common in places like this. It doesn't matter, they're neat. The direction than what I thought you were going. Don't you want to go that way? Go back to the way he knows, I guess. Or she. And it's off. Alright, another ribbon snake. We've already seen one of these today, but... It's nice to see another one. This one's a little bit bigger. I'm doing their little head bobbing thing. These guys are weird. Alright, I'm gonna let them go. Look at him. What a weirdo. God, look at the size of this sucker. <laughs> Look at this thing. We're gonna let him off the road. Go on, buddy. Go on, I'm not gonna mess with you. <laughs> He's like, where do I go? Are they following me? Okay. I wanted to show you this. Because uh, these are our imported fire ants. Floating around in the water right there. Look at that.
What is it? Oh, is that a Texas rat? That's a big snake. You know, it should be gray rats here because we're on the other side of the Mississippi. Yeah, it looks like a Texas rat, but technically it would be a gray rat snake on this side. That is a Mississippi. big snake. You can see how it has a bad shed going on, so I won't take pictures of it. But wow, look at that. Look underneath the shed. I would help you out, buddy, but you should be shedding like very easily. It's wet out here. What? It was underneath a pretty damp pile of stuff. Why big snakes like this have issues shedding sometimes. Maybe it went from different periods to dry weather. I'm not too sure. Again, it was really moist down there, so it really shouldn't be that hard to take this off. It's probably his first shed of the winter uh, since the winter. I almost got it all, buddy. Okay, that's about all I'm going to actually shed the snake. I went to the areas I could. You can see, look at that belly. It's almost a bluish belly. It goes from kind of white up this area, then it goes to reddish, and then it goes to bluish. Really cool snake. And I think that's just because this is an integrated between a gray rat and a Texas rat snake. It even has kind of like a stripe going down the neck. So anyway, I'm gonna stop shedding it. I did about as much as I could. He does have some scarring right in this area, which is probably why he had a bad shed to begin with. That snake can do it on the next shed. We got most of the body out. We got the tip of the tail. The tip of the tail is important. The eyes are important. His eyes look good. Yeah, his eyes don't look bad. Really cool snake. Anyway, I'm gonna stretch this snake out. You can see how big it is. Yep, about a five foot snake. This snake is taller than you, Abby. You can see its belly. It's just a cool snake. So you see right over here, you can see how it has a white belly and then it comes up to here and then hold it up higher, Abby. And it comes up to here and it starts getting a bluish belly. Awesome looking snake. I love it. You can see the color from here. And it does the same thing. It kind of lightens over here, darkens, and then it comes to nice red colors. It's just a cool looking snake. Put him back underneath where he was. Thank you for letting us film you buddy see you later beautiful snake i love rat snakes absolutely love them